Behind me is the brand new EQG from Mercedes. Mercedes says their G-Class vehicles are the most capable off-roaders on the planet. And now with electric motors, one on each tire, is taking luxury off-roading to the next level. This is a prototype and I can't show you everything about the vehicle, but what I can show you is pretty amazing. Let's get started. So we've been lucky enough to come here to the G-Class Experience Center in Graz, Austria, and I'll give you a walk around of the exterior. At first glance, not much will seem different, except for the grille here and a couple of aerodynamic improvements, one of which is the battery tray underneath. Now that it's flat, there's gonna be less turbulence below the vehicle. And there's also this vent right here, which is an air curtain. Air comes in through this vent and gets pushed out in a wall around the tire so it doesn't cause drag. Less drag means improved range overall since it does have to be fairly efficient. Let's go inside for a second. Now obviously under here we have the steering wheel and the entire dashboard, none of which I can show you since this is a very early prototype. However, they do have the display pretty fleshed out and I'm very impressed. The display on the EQG is far more useful than what we find on the Rivian and far more realistic than what we see on the electric Hummer. I wish I could show you, but it'll have to wait for another video. For the most part, the G-Class remains the same. The same aesthetic on the outside, minus the two electric motors in the front, the battery underneath, and the two electric motors in the rear with a solid rear axle, all while driving incredibly silently. When it comes to off-roading, the EQG with its slightly shorter wheelbase is more similar to a Jeep than it is a truck if a Jeep were to cost six figures. Mercedes has manufactured this vehicle so it can go off-roading during the day and to the opera at night. And with only 500,000 units ever made in the last 44 years, ownership is very exclusive. There's quite a lot of differences between gas-powered engines and electric motors. One of which, if you have the engine in front, in order to lock the tires together, you need differential locks. One on the rear, one in the middle at the transfer case, and one in the front. So all the tires spin at the same time, giving you traction. And now with four electric motors, one on each tire, each one of which is powerful enough to move the vehicle by itself, meaning there's a lot more control and traction. And as you can see, we still have a sunroof. One thing that I really like that Mercedes has done here, it's exclusive to this vehicle, never seen it done before, is off-roading. They've added a gearbox so that the electric motors can be fine-tuned into a super low range for extra power when going up and down super steep slopes. I'm a huge fan of that and I wish my Rivian had the same. Another perk is that electric motors have all of their power and torque from the very first RPM, which is what makes that stopping on a hill and reversing up backwards a possibility. With a gas-powered engine that needs to be revved up to get to its full power, it's not quite the same experience. One thing that gas-powered vehicles cannot do is turn both sides of the wheels independently of each other, something called the G-turn. <laughs> That's awesome. Pretty fun little feature. Get out of a tight spot easier. The four new motors are able to turn raw power into analytical precision, almost human-like, calculating each step, each rotation, each turn of the tire, all without slipping. The reason the EQG can go down a hill, stop, and come back up is because electric motors have all the power at all the time. Ready torque at an instant. It's gonna flip a switch. Easy. 
super quiet minus the wind noise. Plus, if you've ever been off-roading in a Jeep or a Tacoma and you've been going uphill, any jostle of the vehicle can affect your throttle or the accelerator. Here in this vehicle, there's a mode called creep mode that you can turn on so it'll crawl up the hill for you without ever needing to touch the accelerator. The computer controls all four motors so it climbs in a straight line. Super simple, super easy. Of course, if you like the feeling of handling the vehicle by yourself, there's still that option. But it's nice to know it's smart enough that it could do it without you. Ooh boy. We are dropping. Oh, that's crazy. When I say luxury off-roading, the seat is one huge aspect of that. We are dropping down like a vertical incline right now. But as the, we turn the vehicle, the seat actually kind of like grabs the rider, grabs the person in the seat while it's going around crazy turns. Now we're going back up the hill, backwards, which is rather strange. And not only does it grab the rider, but it also has the hot massage and heated and cooling and everything. Like this is legitimately luxury while you're doing crazy stuff off-road. <laughs> there's, the, there's the horizon and there's us. This is insane. Is it in one That's piece? <laughs> Sorry, Zach. Did it get smashed? A little bit. Oh little no, bit. dang so it. I've had bad luck with GoPros while filming electric vehicle videos. Um, I lost a GoPro with the Cybertruck video. I'll play that clip here. The, guy, the Cybertruck just kind of smooshed it on its way out of the parking lot. Oh, is that it? It's totally dead. Then I lost a GoPro in the desert of Arizona with the Hummer EV. And then today I lost another GoPro. I'm not trying to do this, they just get smashed. All in the name of a good video though. Hopefully the footage is still here on this one. So I'm not allowed to disclose range, battery pack size, or power just yet. This is just a sneak peek. But I'm sure I'll have a video later, fully in depth, everything that's possible. If you want to watch Dan's video, <laughs> I'll leave a link for that right here. Huge thanks to Mercedes for bringing me out and letting me see this sneak peek of the EQG. I'm really looking forward to seeing it on the road. As always, thanks a ton for watching, and I'll see you around.